Okay, let's do another exercise. Okay, so the way I think about this problem is, well, it must have come from x to the 8th. I ignore the 3 for the time being, must have come from x to the 8th. And then I'm still not thinking about the 3, I'm just repeating the logic I just used. What's the derivative of this? Well, it's 8 times x to the 7th. That's burned into my brain, that taking the derivative of, an, of a power like this, requires bringing the exponent down and reducing it by 1. So 8 comes down and becomes 7. That's just burnt into my brain. I see that automatically. So the derivative of this is 8 times x to the 7th. So I got 8 times what I was aiming for. So I have to make up for it by putting in 1 8 to nail x to the 7th exactly. And then, of course, there is a factor of 3. That's just there. So it becomes 3 eighths, 3 eighths, x to the eighth plus a constant. And we're done with this example. We're just rolling right through these.